Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So this is going to be my review on Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number One. Um, it's basically the story of the symbiote uh, back in the day, 252, Secret Wars, all that, when it was with Spider-Man, and the stories that we never heard. And it's really interesting, actually. Here's the book right here. That is the Gabrielle Del Auto variant cover. Um, I thought it would be shinier and the paper is so-so on the book, uh, but it's a great book. So basically, uh, we start off as a shot back to Secret Wars 8, kind of a brief origin to tell you what happened. And it's basically told by the symbiote. The whole story is told by the symbiote. So, um, you know, he's always saying, my friend this and this, and he like cares for Peter Parker. Um, <laughs> And so basically then it moves into uh, him and the black cat in there. Um, I think it skips to after Secret Wars number, or not Secret Wars, excuse me, Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. So after 252, after Secret Wars, after Marvel, Team Up 141, Spectacular Spider-Man 90, then this happens right here, somewhere in here. And basically... Um, when Peter Parker, well, Hammerhead's a villain, and so they're gonna go fight at Hammerhead and stuff like that. But basically, when Peter Parker falls asleep, um, the symbiote takes over, and so he he calls it the meat, <laughs> like Peter Parker's meat, <laughs> and he's it's strong and this and that, and uh, let his his lets Peter's mind rest, basically keeps him in like a coma, and goes out and fights crime. And um, kind of doing everything that he thinks he, Peter would want him to do when he was resting. And he's like beating villains to the point of death almost. I mean, he's not doing what Spider-Man would normally do. And um, so Peter will wake up and be super tired. And he's like late for everything all the time. And he's doesn't feel well but he feels like he slept but he didn't and and basically when the symbiote is in control at night fighting crime and stuff um, he's like living he can understand Peter's unconscious mind and all the dilemma like during the day Peter has like stress about Mary Jane and Gwen and black <coughs> excuse me black cat and work and Aunt May and everything and all his stresses So the symbiote's trying to like fix it for him kind of at night and Like reliving things like Peter would like memories, but with different people like flying around and stuff he ends up saving this kid and The kid kind of like saying look you can't be doing what you're doing um, and I guess someone's in a fire and the symbiote realizes I can't get near the building on fire because fire is a weakness or whatever. So he saves a guy like shooting web and stuff. And then, you know, it keeps going. Then, then Hammerhead kidnaps the kid and at night the symbiote takes over and goes to get the kid. And it's a trap and Hammerhead shoots him with this thing and the venom or the symbiote kind of comes off him because it's powerful. The kid like saves Spider-Man for a second, then Spider-Man starts beating on him, and then it's over. And um, well, it's not Spider-Man; it's a symbiote. <laughs> but um, after that encounter, the symbiote starts to realize that he's actually hurting Peter. He's basically killing Peter because he's using his weakening his body, and while he's asleep, he he he's dying basically. So. He says, you know what, I, I don't want that to happen. I, you know, I love Peter, you know, we're together, you know, the classic symbiote thing. Um, and basically lets him kind of take over Peter. And then Peter goes and sees uh, Reed from the FF to uh, test the suit. And so Reed's like, this, this is not a good suit. And you need to take it off. It's a parasite and it's going to affect you. So Peter's like, hey, no problem. He starts to take the suit off and it won't come off. So then Reed shoots him with the, like a gun that makes it come off him. 
And then, you know, the whole time the symbiote is telling this whole story. And then the end is the symbiote being upset because his so-called friend left him and he's in the jar. He's in the jar. And uh, he's like, oh, well, we'll make him remember me again and blah, blah, blah. And that's talking about kind of like Venom and stuff once he gets to Eddie and all that starts happening. So it's a pretty cool read. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm a Spider-Man fan, but I suggest you guys pick it up too. The untold stories of uh, the unconscious Peter Parker and the journey of the symbiote. Uh, it's, it's a good read and the art's good. And it, you know, hey, it's Black Spidey. It's back. It's kind of fun. So again, it takes place around after Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. Um, somewhere in there. So enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.